do you know what will happen if you only know how to read but not write? Well, these people do exist, and I've identified a community of people who can read Chinese perfectly, but have limited writing performances due to limited writing experiences of Chinese characters. And for these people, they look at Chinese characters pretty much like looking at faces. So how do we look at faces? Well, for example, we look at faces as a whole. Now, look at the top parts of the two faces there at the top. Can you tell me whether they are the same or different? Well, most people will feel that they are different, but in fact, they are exactly the same. We feel that they are different simply because the bottom halves of the two faces there are different. We have this illusion because we look at faces as a whole, and the bottom parts of the faces there confuse us. We call this effect holistic processing. Similarly, for Chinese characters, people who can read but didn't learn to write also look at Chinese characters holistically, just like faces, and they have the same illusion. Whereas for people who learn to write, they can easily tease apart the character components, which actually helps us to recognize Chinese characters better. So writing experiences changes the way we perceive Chinese characters, just like faces. Well. Writing experience does not change every aspect of our perception. Let me demonstrate another face perception phenomenon for you. Can you tell me which of the face on the left and on the right look more like the face in the middle? I guess most people would choose the face on the left here. This face is actually a new face created by the face in the middle using only the left side. The other one uses only the right side. We pick this face there because when we look at a face, the left side of the face is initially projected to our right brain, and the right brain is good at recognizing faces. That's why we have this left side bias for faces. Similarly, for Chinese characters, no matter whether we can write or not, we also have this left side bias for Chinese characters, just like faces. So writing experiences does not change our left side bias. So the take-home messages are: um, I'm the first to identify people who can read Chinese perfectly but have limited writing performances. And from these people, we know that、um, writing experiences helps us look at Chinese characters analytically, which is important for Chinese character recognition. And if you don't write, you are basically looking at Chinese characters like faces, like my face and everybody else's face here. Thank you.